Hey, welcome back to 90s and Blood Cards. Jake Roy here. So we have a special episode this week to celebrate the 4th of July, which is right here. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so we have a special product today. You can see I'm wearing one of the 92 Dream Team USA jerseys. Uh, I'm a big fan of the USA basketball team and watching those Olympic games. So dating back to the first one that I can really remember is the 96 team. I remember seeing highlights and hearing stories about the 92 team, but I don't really remember watching them. I was pretty young at the time. But a product that I really enjoyed growing up was the 2000 Tops Team USA. So this was the only product made for just the Team USA uh, squads of both the men and the women's. So there's some fun stuff in here, kind of a different type of card that we'll get into a little bit, but there's some jersey cards you could get, autograph cards, all kinds of different inserts, and then we've got some of the best stars that played in the league at that point. So let's get into what we can pull. All right, so here we've got some PC items to talk through. So the first thing that we can pull are gold variations. So I've got, you know, kind of an example of each of the options, all Kevin Garnett, that's one of my PC guys growing up. So the gold variation, will, I'll show you what the base looks like compared to it. So you can see in each variation or each design in the set, uh, you know, they all come in gold. So you can definitely see there's a, there's a gold hint to this one. Uh, but if you're looking at one, whether you're trying to buy one online or looking at one in person, one way to be sure that you're looking at a gold or a base is you go on the back, obviously you're going to have a gold tint as well, but right underneath the number right here, it's going to say uh, that it's gold. So it's going to say USA gold underneath the number, and then you can rest assured if it's gold or base. So we've got each of the designs here, and actually one of the interesting things here, and I'll show you with the team cards, I always love team cards for USA because I like, like those squads, but these cards are made almost out of like a plastic and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera really but um you know they're they're a little bit more flimsy but i don't know if you can hear it maybe it's not like your typical cardboard so it's an interesting material i've always been curious obviously with me you know doing that to the card it's not gonna be worth grading but um in general these cards aren't worth a ton the base cards but i've always been curious if this material holds up better uh, over time, you know, I don't know if there's any way to test it and I'm not gonna go and get one of these cards graded to see it. Uh, but interesting that these cards were made with that kind of like a plastic material rather than the traditional cardboard. Something I wanted to note there. So one and one on the golds. Then moving right up with the next thing here is National Spirit. So these are one and eight. And these are pretty cool. These are more of a traditional card, foil finish. These have both the men's team and the women's team. So Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Vince Carter are some of the more valuable players that you can get. They're still not worth a ton, you know, probably two to five dollars. But uh, you know, the WNBA players, the only one that really holds any value is Lisa Leslie. It's about two dollars. Back when this set came out, Shamika Holesclaw was a huge star, and she rivaled some of the top uh, men's stars for value. But that's not the case anymore. So National Spirit, really cool there. One in eight packs. And then we've got the side by side set. So here uh, we have both men and women's players on a card together. And the interesting thing here is you can see this side with Nikki McCray is a refractor. This side here, Kevin Garnett is a refractor. So all of the base cards have one of the two sides with a refractor. So they paired a men's player up with a woman's player, usually players that were similar in some aspects of their game. So Kevin Garnett and Shemiko Holsklaw were both big stars in their leagues and you know pretty versatile forwards. Uh, Nikki McCray and Grant Hill, I don't understand why they have them paired up, but uh, it is what it is. So interesting thing here, having you know half of the card with a refractor. And if you're looking at the card, you want to make sure you know which side you know for your PC, if you want to have a version of each, it will say refractor on the side, the player side that is refractor. So you know there's a version of this with Garnett refractor, whole Sklaw refractor, and then there's also the side by side. So both sides are refractors. So here with you know either side, these are one in 12 packs, but then if you're looking at the dual side, these are one in 36 packs. So three times more rare to get both sides. And again, like I said, Tim Duncan's one of the bigger stars for the men's, but Lisa Leslie's definitely the top women's athlete. So this one is probably the most collectible card uh, in the whole side-by-side -side set. So really cool. And then obviously on the back, you'll have refractor noted on both sides. It's cool stuff there. Then we've got the USA Archival Collection. So these are jersey cards. So you've got a nice little swatch of the jersey there. These are one in 323 packs. 
yeah, 323 is a random number, but uh, you know, really hard to pull. And actually this Jason Kidd is one that I pulled. Like I said, I love this set. So I bought a lot of packs. I bought a box even um, and pulled this. I did not open 300 packs, but I opened quite a few. So this was a great pull. And actually when I pulled it, this card being a, a hard pull was very valuable. It, was, uh, it booked in Beckett um, for about $50. And today you can probably buy this online for about 10. The USA cards I've found aren't that collectible anymore. It's still stuff I love. I, I love getting my PC players uh, USA cards, but um, you know they don't sell for a ton, so it can be an easy thing to pick up. I always loved seeing also the authentication sticker from Tops there, that hologram sticker. Really cool stuff there, a really great pull that I remember fondly, and uh, I would love to see another one. You know, we could get a Duncan or a Kevin Garnett, and those ones sell for a bit more. Those are about 20 to $30, and sometimes you get like a blue patch or, you know, different colors in the patch, which would be nice to see as well. And then another card uh, that we could pull, I don't have any examples, but are the women's autos. So there's autograph versions, only the women's team in those. Those are 291 packs to pull one of those. So maybe we'll get lucky, lucky and see one of those today. Um, but I'll slide a picture in so you guys can see what they look like. But really rare pulls and again, not a ton of value there. Again, the Lisa Leslie is gonna hold the most value, but still not something that, uh, that sells for a ton. So we'll see what we pull. All right, here we go. We've got four packs, eight cards per pack. Let's hope we get some fire. All right, there we go with Steve Smith, Alonzo Mourning, Vince Carter, love that card. We've got Natalie Williams, another Natalie Williams, Teresa Edwards, Ruthie Bolton Holyfield, and the gold is Grant Hill. Very nice. Got a Gary Payton, Vince Carter, Tim Duncan, Jason Kidd, Don Staley, Teresa Edwards, Delisha Hamilton, and Natalie Williams Gold. All right, pack number three. Pack sticking the cards. Steve Smith, and Gary Payton, Grant Hill, there's a Shamiko Holesclaw, Yolanda Griffith, Natalie Williams, we're getting a lot of Natalie Williams. There's a team checklist. That's a different team checklist that I didn't have. Cool. And a gold of Grant Hill. Or Grant Hill, Kevin Garnett. <laughs> All right, Gary Payton. Gary Payton. Here's our first Lisa. Another Shamiqua. Nikki McRae. Natalie Smith. There we go. Very nice national spirit, Kevin Garnett. So it's a duplicate for me, but definitely a nice one. Happy to pull one. And Nikki McRae gold. All right. All right, so you guys saw the packs. You know, really pleased with pulling this uh, national national spirit of Kevin Garnett. Like I said, I already have one, but you know, really cool to actually pull one out. So uh, one out of eight packs, so beat the odds there. And uh, interesting thing with these packs, you know, they sell for about a dollar or two a piece online. The boxes are, are pretty inexpensive. So I think this is actually one of the few products that are in this time era that's a good value. You know, you've got an opportunity to pull some really nice jersey cards they're really rare but there's a chance and then obviously the uh the women's team autograph so this is a a nice product to pick up that you might have a chance at some fire if you enjoy the usa products if you enjoy players from the usa teams uh you know it might, might be something that would be fun to pick up and uh and bust through so you know kind of cool stuff there uh you know love getting this card again in my pc we didn't see any of the crazy fire with the autographs um, you know, so maybe someday I'll, I'll pick up one. I always like watching Shmika Holesclaw play. My dad was a huge fan of hers when she was playing at Tennessee. Um, you know, so that might be a cool autograph for me to pick up at some point and add that to my collection. So uh, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on USA products. And also, what are you planning to do for the 4th of July? You got anything uh, fun planned? I hope everybody out there, uh, you know, you have a fun but safe weekend. You know, fireworks and, and some, you know, fun on the grill can be enjoyable, but make sure, you know, you're, you're safe with that stuff. So 
Uh, thanks for dropping by and watching this video. Hopefully you enjoy some cards along with your 4th of July celebrations. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. Uh, new videos like this will drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus videos will drop on Fridays. And we'll talk later. Thanks.